if you were to, you know, go back two years ago, even to a brand new investor, like you were yourself, what advice would you give that brand new investor? One, pick two or three marketing streams and just stay extremely consistent. If you want to put a time frame on it, give it at least 90, 90 days, basically three to six months to actually see it through and see if it works. Um, because for me, learning from personal experience, trying so many different marketing streams, I didn't give any of them enough time to really flourish and see if I could get the, you know, get actually a deal from it. Um, so yeah. one from there, picking a few marketing streams, consistency. And the other thing, really, the money is in the follow up. If you're not mm. following up, honestly, you're not going to be getting very many deals because, yeah, we can continue to get so many new leads. But there's so many people that continue that need that nurturing. And yeah. so it's you, you get to the point where, OK, you are consistent with your deals um, based on the marketing that you're doing and you're able to get a couple of deals. If you're not wanting to have a, you know, a one man team and do wear all the basically 10 hats all at once, like yeah. go and get help, hire a company, like amplify my business that can help you to scale and um, help you to be able to reach your next goal, wherever that may be. Um, and really just to stay true to the process. And that's wow. it. Awesome, man. That's one of the best things I've ever heard doing these interviews because you had, you have the wisdom to say, don't quit on a marketing stream unless you're at least 90 days, you know, 180 days in, because you don't mm -hmm. really know, like so much of it is building a pipeline. And we really right. do preach that here. Not because like it protects us by any means, because it's just the fact of doing marketing. <laughs>